using a decorated scraper, scrape off any deposits sitting on the surface. Do not use abrasive paper on new surfaces of plaster work. Only use abrasive paper on the metal angle beading and dust off ready for painting with a primer. After checking all the surfaces and dust off, next stage is protection of surfaces. Light and socket switches can be protected by using masking tape. We sheet up any floor areas, any furniture, and we remove any furniture as much as possible from the working area. Here are the tools and materials we'll be using. A roller, roller pole, paint scuttle, put the paint in, paint and a tub for mixing, water, 3 inch paintbrush, kettle. First we start mixing the paint. Some painters uh, like to use it straight out the tub or tin. Always uh, clean off the paint on the edge. But I like to add a drop of water to it so it becomes more workable on the surface of the new plaster. We're using a stir stick which is a very important tool to use and we clean, clean it off after use. We pour the mixed paint into the paint scuttle. Again clean that edge off the paint now we come to the selection of which roller we're going to use. That is the 12 inch roller, so we're going to remove the 12 inch roller sleeve by unclipping the two clips at the front, extending the arms out and fitting the 18 inch sleeve. Once we push the two arms into the sleeve we then clip down the clips and make sure it's secure by just a little spin and then we add our roller pole it's very important when using a fresh roller clean roller sleeve to work in the roller into the paint material This is quite difficult with new plaster work as the plaster sucks in the new paint. So I have to work that roller sleeve and immerse it into the paint so it's completely covered and we just dip half the roller into the paint and then roll up towards you and then we're ready to go. Once the roller sleeve is immersed into the paint fully then we can start rolling fully the height of the wall area. And we're looking for consistency of application. So as we're rolling we're checking that there's no mist areas, no shady areas, no roller marks. And we're going up as close to the ceiling line and to the skirting line as possible. And I always like to put a piece of cardboard on there on the top of the skirting board so the roller spray doesn't go onto any of the surface of the skirting board. 
which makes it more difficult then to clean off. And here we're just laying off with the roller. This is the last rolling technique you will do. So it's all even. Very lightly. On this wall section we uh, have a cable in the middle of the wall but we still have to paint that wall with the same consistency so there's no shady areas no mist areas there's no roller marks and we always finish off with a light pressured roller sequence in which we're laying off with the roller. See if you see any shady bits you really sort of go over them again to make sure they're covered. If you spot anything on the wall any bits, remove them. This is the first coat, sometimes called a mist coat, primer coat. In the old days, it would called a mist coat, which would be a very thin down version of the paint but the new school is to apply it as strong as possible so once it's first coated there you do your filling once the filler is dry you rub it down, touch in just over that area where you filled and then you apply the finished coat. Where in the old days the protocol was a mist coat, a first coat and the second coat. Sometimes you have to roll in different directions to achieve the coverage. But always check that the area is covered evenly, that there's no mist areas, no shady areas and no roller marks. Here we are just laying off that roller. We always start at the top and roll down towards the floor area.
as you can see the there's a line around the perimeter of the surface of the wall area which we shall paint in after we've finished rolling the walls. The old school would be to cut in a paint band right around the perimeter of the area that you're painting and then roll. But now the new school is re roll first and cut in last. And here we are cutting in, painting that band that's been left in the internal edges of the surfaces that we've painted. Again working from the top, we're right handed so I'm working from the left to the right. Make sure the consistency of the paint is the same as uh, you've rolled on the wall surfaces. So sometimes you have to go over that same stretch a couple of times just to get the same consistency of coverage as you've achieved by using the roller. We start at the top, work down the sides and then across the skirting boards. Thank you very much indeed for watching QDOS training dot beers. The email address will be coming up and I wish you the best in whatever job you're painting. Thank you.